Kevin talked a lot today about a shared vision, right? I think my role really first and foremost is to not only help us create, but also implement that shared vision and then ultimately make sure that we stick to it, you know, really relentlessly. Um, and that's, that's really my role. So I, I look at all the processes that are within a football operation. And whether that's, again, whether that's hiring someone, whether that's how we do scouting, whether it's how we, you know, look at things, uh, you know, with numbers, um, I, you know, sort of dig into all those processes and make sure that they, they align with our, our vision and that we all, as a group, you know, continue to stay aligned and, and uh, be on the same page, as, as Kevin said. So will you be involved in the draft? Sure. I mean, and what role will you play in the draft? Uh, a process-oriented role. Um, I'm not going to pick the players, but I am going to try to make sure that the players we do pick, again, align with our vision of what we believe is a, is a winning franchise. You know, I, I, I've had the opportunity to be around some great organizations, you know, in, in multiple sports. And one thing that's pretty clear across all of them is that they all have an identity, right, a way. You, you know, you hear about, you know, the, the Patriot way or, you know, back in the day, the Dodger way or whatever it might be. Um, you know, the teams that are great are relentless about implementing that way. Um, and that's, that's what we need to do here. And I think that's really, that's really my charge. So my, my charge is not to watch tape and say, oh, man, this guy's got great feet. We've got scouts who are way better and way more qualified than I am to do that. Um, but when we come down to make a selection, it is, it is my role to say, okay, are we, doing, are we making a decision here that actually aligns with our way? I mean, look, when I first got here in, at the beginning of 2016, Look, I didn't, I didn't know the NFL uh, at, at all. I, I shouldn't have had a strong voice in anything that was going on. Um, I was trying to learn and absorb as much as I, as I possibly could. And as the years have gone on, not only me, but I think a bunch of people in the football operation have just tried to figure out any way they, any way they could help, you know, any way they could help the team be successful. And I think that's still our, our mindset going forward. Um, you know, Kevin talked about being better this year than he was a year ago. You know, hopefully I can contribute more today than I could a year ago, certainly more than I could four years ago. Um, but that still means I'm, look, I'm, I'm far away from having all the answers. Uh, and I think all of us in the building, we don't have all the answers. And I, I've said this before. I think, um, you know, the, the group of people who work in sort of research, et cetera, we're probably some of the most uncertain people in the building. I mean, again, that's the foundation of kind of what we do is we're, we're trying to figure out probabilities of, of different things that might happen or create processes that, that stack, you know, stack the odds in our favor. Um, so, you know, going forward, we'll continue to work on that. But, um, you know, we, we, uh, we definitely don't have all the answers at this point. I had a couple of things. Depot speaks. First of all, that's the first time most people have heard him speak. The Browns version of the Wizard of Oz it, comes it, out from exactly. behind the curtain. And so the, when you look at that and listen to that, Josh McDaniels never had a chance. No. Right? Nope. Not as long as Dee Podesta was on the payroll, right. uh, let alone part of the search committee. Jimmy, uh, McDaniels, Jimmy Haslam's son-in-law. No matter how many hours McDaniels was in Berea, he was not going to no. get that job. We, we see that now. So I mentioned to you before during the break that sometimes media members say one thing. Maybe you don't know when it's going to happen, but they say one thing that they become remembered for. Jeff Shudell comes remembered, will come, become remembered for asking Dee Podesta, just what is it that you do? <laughs> yeah, you know, Jeff, um, he's an interesting cat yeah. in that he will ask anything at any time, anywhere. I'm glad Dee Podesta articulated it the way he did. He obviously has a lot of power in this organization. I think it's fair to say now, when you said not only did McDaniels not get the job uh, in, in part because of Dee Podesta, but Stefanski got the job right. because of Dee Podesta. All right, so 